So this should be a pretty quick video, honestly, because this isn't too uh, too complicated of a kit to you know, go over. So it's obviously it's the uh, it's the high grade uh, Universal Century uh, Ball Twin Set. So there's two of these in there, and yes, they are called a ball. And of course, I know you guys are probably going to make jokes in the comments about uh, balls, so go ahead, knock yourselves out. Um, this right here obviously is Bandai Spirit, so it doesn't have the uh, barcode on the, uh, it doesn't have the um, price tag on the barcode is what I mean. And this can comes from uh, the original Gundam show. And it shows two on the box and like uh, previous uh, kits, you know, usually if they show two, it could mean how you can do two different versions. And that's pretty much what they mean here as well, but also you have both of these in there. You can make two of these and have one with this and one with the twin cannons if you want, or you can do vice versa. Uh, I'll let you, you know, look at the little blurbs on it and stuff. Uh, this one isn't uh, translated in English, so if you want to, you're going to have to... Uh, Pause it and translate it yourself. So, there you go. And uh, I do believe that's it for the box. So, let's uh, move on to the actual kit. So, here they are. These are the uh, twin balls, and the thing is, is that these are technically a high grade, but they are more of a novelty, so you don't really have any expectations for these guys because they don't have the same type of limbs and stuff that other um, uh, suits do. So, judging them based on the same ranking system as uh i do for the normal kits wouldn't really work so i'm not going to rank these guys um but um you know the, i'll just go ahead and continue like normal from uh from here they do actually have quite a bit of detailing on the ball itself which is something that i'm honestly surprised by so there's quite a bit of uh panel lining options here and um a decent amount on the ar uh, the arms. And actually, if you look inside the cockpit, you can actually see uh, a chair as if the ball just happens to be empty right now. Uh, I think that's really cool. It's a nice detail for something like a high grade because you don't see that, that kind of detail on high grades um, hardly ever. So the fact they put that in on this particular high grade is pretty cool. It actually has a four little thrusters down here and uh two on the back uh the two on the back are obviously bigger but it technically has six it's just the ones on the bottom are a little harder to see um you know you kind of have to do this to look at them but they're really tiny and they do seem to like be snug on their little pegs so you don't really have to worry about gluing those but if you're really worried about those coming off, and I don't blame you with really small parts like that, um, you might want to glue them just in case. Um, and that's pretty much it for like the detailing. Um, I just love the simplistic overall design of, of the uh, of the ball because it's so different from like all the other early Universal Century stuff because it's not technically a mobile suit. It was a, uh, I believe it was like a construction, a construction, uh, like suit before the war broke out. And they basically took a bunch of these like construction suits that were meant to build, uh, colonies and repurpose them for combat, which they were okay at doing. But, you know, going up against a Zaku 2 with this thing was like complete suicide. And so most uh, Federation soldiers actually called it the Iron Coffin, I believe, for that reason. Uh, but anyways, 
as you can tell, it doesn't really have much in the way of uh, accessories. And really, that's not surprising because, one, these guys really can't hold anything. And, uh, you know, the weapons on, their, on the top of it was basically, you know, theoretically, like, bolted on. Um, so you have um, two different uh, versions you can put on. You can have the uh, the big solidary cannon that's basically like a, a mortar round. Um, this one is the one that you actually see in the show. This one over here with the twin cannons um, is really cool, and I actually really like that design. But unfortunately, you don't see that one in the show. So if you wanted to to make it more accurate, you could both you could do uh, both of these with the big cannon. Because it comes with an extra one and an extra double cannon in case you prefer that. Um, that I, I really think that's a really neat uh, touch and it's really cool. My only problem with the accessories is that right here there should be um, green foil stickers for the uh, camera lens right here. But this kit actually comes with no stickers. Which... I guess it's a good thing, depending on how you look at it. Uh, I personally don't think it's a good thing for this kit because it's so simple that a few stickers for the lenses for the weapons would be it. That would be perfectly fine. It would add a little bit more detail, but they didn't do that. Um, but that's okay. You know, it, it's not that big of a deal. And, you know, the uh, these arms are not really accessories. They're actually part of the... Uh, suit yes you can take them off but they don't come with any extra variants so they're not accessories because you can't swap them out and there is articulation in these uh, but you only have articulation pretty much here at the elbow and here at the hands and that's all you get so very simplistic articulation and the guns can move uh, which is cool um, and really, the only thing, the only reason why you would get this is a, as a companion piece to your regular uh, GM from the original show, because they were commonly seen together in battle. So really, you wouldn't get this for any other reason, either than being a hardcore collector or as a companion piece. Maybe the customize, but I, I doubt it. Because there's not really a whole lot of customization options with these guys. Um, maybe you could prove me wrong. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have customized them. I just don't really see the uh, the opportunity with this. But they are neat little uh, accessories. Well, not accessories, but companion piece to the uh, original GM from the same show. And um, honestly... Like, when it comes to a ranking, like I said, I'm not going to rank these because they're not your standard uh, kits. Um, but because of their relative, re relatively more unique uh, kit building, uh, I'd have to recommend it, though. I would have to recommend getting it. For one, it's a high grade. Like I said before, those are a lot cheaper and easier to come by. And the ball is such a hugely mass-produced kit that there's so many of them uh and this happens to be the twin set so there are i think there are other versions that um aren't twins where it's, a, it's just one ball uh but it might be a different like version like it might be orange or something like that so uh just keep that in mind but this is the twin set version uh but anyways I definitely recommend getting it for your collection or your uh, as a companion piece. And uh, they're real cheap. I got this, I think I got this set for like 10 bucks, And it's pretty easy to find. Um, just about any uh, model kit shop that sells Gundam kits worth their salt would have these. Um, and that's really it, honestly. Uh, so, until next time, guys. Uh, peace!